Welcome to the Omni CMS video tutorial on Final Check. When publishing, your page will automatically be scanned for spelling, link, and accessibility issues. Using Final Check to correct any issues will ensure that pages on the WKU website are accessible and provide the best experience for any user. Click Publish to start the Final Check. This may take a few seconds to complete running. It depends on the number of links and content on the page that must be checked. To run a page check manually before publish, select More Options, then Page Check from the menu. You must have the page checked out or the option will not display. There are three checks listed. Spelling, which checks the page for spelling errors. Links, this verifies the status of pages being linked to. And accessibility, which checks the page for accessibility issues. The first check is spelling. Spell check scans the page, then lists any potential misspelled words. This includes the editable page content, as well as image descriptions. Clicking the link with the number of errors will show a list of all potential spelling mistakes. It also displays the number of times the word occurs on that page. After reviewing the list, close the spell check results or use the open a new window link to keep a list visible. Edit the page to correct any spelling errors and save. Once a word is spelled correctly, it will no longer show in the final check. Remember, spelling errors must be reviewed for accuracy. It may detect words in other languages, acronyms, as well as other false positives that may not need fixed. The next page check is links. This verifies whether a link is working or not. Click the errors link next to the title to view the details. The Link Check Results box shows every link on the page, whether it works or not. It lists the URL, the status of the link on staging, the status of the link in production, and a status code. Green check marks indicate that the link is valid and working. Yellow exclamation marks mean either the link does not exist in staging or is broken in production. Red ban icons indicate the link is broken in production. And blue info icons indicate the link check is unable to verify if it's a valid link or not. To learn more about what each status means, visit the Best Practices section of the example site. Use this list to identify any links on your page that may need updated. Accessibility may be the last item in the list, but it is the most important. Accessibility Check scans the page for issues as defined by the latest accessibility standards. As site content creators, we must ensure that anyone can perceive, understand, navigate, and interact with and contribute to the web. This encompasses all disabilities that affect access to the web, including auditory, cognitive, neurological, physical, speech, and visual. There are four types of accessibility problems. Critical, serious, moderate, and minor. Critical problems result in blocked content for people with disabilities, preventing them from accessing fundamental features or content. These must be fixed before publishing to meet accessibility standards. Serious problems may partially prevent people with disabilities from accessing fundamental features or content. These must also be fixed to publish the page. Moderate problems will not prevent people with disabilities from accessing fundamental features or content. Minor problems are considered to be annoyances for people with disabilities. Moderate and minor problems will not prevent publish, but it is important to try and repair any of these issues as well for maximum usability. Clicking the accessibility check link with will open a window with details on every problem. Problems are divided into tabs according to their level. Critical, Serious, Moderate, and Minor. The Exceptions tab can be disregarded. 
each problem will list the following, the cause of the problem, the source code of the problem, a repair method, and a basic description of the problem's impact on web accessibility. To fix any problem listed, there is a coordinating article in the ITS knowledge base with details about the cause and step-by-step -step instructions to resolve it. Visit the knowledge base and search the problem name. For a complete list, navigate to WKU Systems, Omni CMS, then Final Checks. If you encounter a problem that is not listed in the knowledge base, please contact the service desk. Follow the steps outlined in the matching article to correct the issue. If a problem has been corrected and verified by the scan, it will no longer show. Repeat these steps as needed to repair any problems. If you have any questions or need further assistance, contact the ITS Service Desk at 270-745-7000. Or visit wku.edu slash ITS slash contact. For examples, best practices, and other helpful information, visit wku.edu slash omni dash CMS.